As we are gearing up for the Breeders' Cup races in November at Del Mar, we've got win and you're in events coming up. And one of those is for the Breeders' Cup fan duo mile this Sunday in Deauville. The group won Prix de Hora de Fresnay Le Buffois, Jacques Lamarois. If I said that correct, see Naomi Tucker, so pleased to be joined by Alex. Alex, how are you doing? And of course, Let's start off with the horse that is defending his title in this race, Palace Pier. Naomi, it's been one, it's wonderful to be on. And Palace Pier, there's not a lot more you can say after you, after the performances you've seen this season. And this is a horse that has won this race last year. And in my personal opinion, last year went to British Champions Day, ended up on really bogged down ground. I wouldn't be surprised to see this horse win today and then come back to the Breeders' Cup mile. Well, that would absolutely be terrific. Of course, uh, quick some specifications about the race. It's over a straight mile on the turf at Doe Field. Current going is good. And the reason I'm highlighting in this, uh, highlighting this is because it feels like we're looking for an out and out staying galloper. Plus, also want to highlight that race courses like this seem to be won on talent and form and fitness. And there are a couple of horses in here that are lightlier raced this season. But, of mm. course, Pallet Spear not being one of those. I mean, he's on a three-win roll, right? Locking two starts ago, the Queen Anne at Royal Ascot before that. He's a five-time Group 1 winner. Alex, you already highlighted how good he is. Can we see anyone else being of interest in this field? Well, you have, you have a Guineas winner in Poetic Flair who's been, for the most part, consistent. Had been a couple couple iffy performances, but when at the best has been as good as any three-year-old we've seen. And the one that really is interesting to me, they have a little question with it's only be the second start this prep, but Alpine Star for Jessica Harrington, love loved this trip last time, just missed two Palace Pier in this race, ran well in an allowance race last time out, really had to fight and was beaten, but it was first up for the prep. I think, I don't know, I've, I've gone back and forth on whether that second up will be right, but I don't see any reason why she won't be right there. I love the fact that you mentioned the four-year-old uh, Mare Alpine star. She will be carrying uh, three pounds less than some of the boys in here, so nine stone two, which for the Americans, I believe, is like 126? No, 28 pounds. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm sorry for my terrible. but 128, I do believe it is, because 9 stone 5 is 131 pounds. But you're right. She is the Group 1 Coronation Stakes victory. Uh, she bested sharing in that race. And then, indeed, she ran second behind Palace Pier in this race last year. But also, don't forget, in her last, last year's career, she ran second to Ternawa in the Prix d'Opera Longines. Ternawa then went on to win the Breeders' Cup turf in 2020. So Alpine Star, very, very tough mare, but is looking at that second uh, seasonal appearance. Will she indeed be fit enough? I love her sort of stalking style. She's, you know, she's tenacious, she's strong, hoping that she's ready to fire her. Now, you already mentioned Poetic Flair. I feel like he's just getting better with every single start. Uh, he is heavily campaigned already this year. Six starts. Uh, you highlighted uh, his success. Also won the Sussex. Do we need to mention Order of Australia in this as well? Last year, shock up, upset British Cup mile winner. I, I, it's Since coming back, I thought the trip to Hong Kong was a lot for Order of Australia. I mean, it was a huge win to win at Keeneland. Went out to Hong Kong and it just didn't work. And it took some time for Order of Australia to get back into form. Did prove that in the minstrel out at the Curra. I'm not sold that this horse is going to be able to handle this handle this race. It, maybe that's just a personal opinion that I've had throughout the season, but it's been consistent so far. So I, I'll be avoiding Order of Australia here. Yeah, I, I had a look at him, and, and you're correct. He, he ran at Chatin after uh, his victory in the Breeders' Cup. Hasn't completely shown a similar level of class yet thus far this year. Did have a victory in a group two at the Curran, the Romanized Minstrel Stakes, but that was against a lot less tough of foes than what he'll face today. So, Alex, if we have to make our selection here, let's let's start from the start. Breeders' Cup fan duo mine mile. A winning your in event for this race is the Prix de Jacques Le Marat coming up at Deauville on Sunday. 
are we going to go with defending title holder Palace Pier or are we looking elsewhere? If Palace Pier runs his race, he can he will win it, but I'm really going to give a shot to Alpine Star. I, I know it's short up, second up on the prep, but going back to this race, I'm going to take my chance that this horse can can, can switch it from last year, upset Palace Pier. It's going to be a great race. I mean, it's it's one of the best races we've seen this year with five group one winners in the field and some horses that are making a slight step up, but they're getting back to the distance that they like. It, it's going to be, as, it's going to be awesome. I mean, it's going to be one of the best renewals of this race. And it's a race that has a storied history. Yeah, so much to look forward to. Really can't wait to see who ends up on top. Love your pick, Alpine Star. Bit of girl power there to beat uh, Palace Pier. I'm going to give a, a shout out to Poetic Flair. I'm hoping that he continues his progression. I, just, I, I can completely understand that. And the trip to France last time wasn't great, but at the same time, I mean, it, I don't think it has anything to do with coming to Deauville, has been back on form. Then three year olds have been pretty good from what I've seen. So Poetic Flair, Alpine Star, Palace Pier. I, I mean, again, it's such a competitive field. Yeah, those seem to be the three to beat this Sunday at Deauville in the Group 1. Prix de Hurrah, the Fresh Le Bouffoir, Jack Lemora. Win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Fan Duel Mile. Good luck, everyone.